Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna make a um, petty cash template in Excel so using formulas and before that intro muna tayo you have to mention the company name and then the title of the template um, petty cash replenishment Then you have to mention the beginning pity cash, like how much you receive um, pity cash. And then you have to mention um, which month the transaction was made. Next, we're gonna put um, date, petty cash butcher number, description. And then the PA and then the the expenses so stationaries what else um postage what else um transportation so guys this is only a sample huh transportation and what else or let's see other expenses so So now we're gonna put like borders or table so let's put sample amount guys for we can understand
So now we're gonna highlight because we're gonna put um, borders or tables. So yeah, you just highlight only the seal or you can put borders or tables. And then for reconciliations, you have to put um, remaining petty cash as of today or as of now, or you can check in your um, petty cash it's on your drawer. to put preferred by which is um the one who are in charge in PT cash So now let's put our basic formulas um, sum or addition or totals. So Now we're gonna put um, example transaction. So let's say first of October, first of October. And then we're gonna put butcher number. It should be start to number one so it should be six or five digits guys but it should be start to one let's say purchase of like a poor size band paper and then you're gonna put how much you pay or you paid so sample is for example is 15 dollars or peso or any currency depends on the which country you are located in so yeah and you're gonna put P don't forget to put P guys um, for example bookstore and let's see we receive 100 um, money and then um, we have to get the remaining petty cash guys so 100 less 15 so the result is 85 so yeah I put on um, formula guys it's a basic only it so let's put total guys total for stationaries total for postage total for transportation and total for other expenses guys for um, the purpose of that is for reconciliation
I'm gonna add another transaction so this is the second transaction so let's say on 10th of October and then second transaction so it's number two and then like transportation expense which was um, the money given to the employee so you're gonna write the employee name there and then the amount he spent so yeah so drag down and then to get the total I guess it's done and thank you for watching in this video so guys if you haven't subscribed our channel please do subscribe now and click the bell button for you can update our um, new videos thank you so much guys